About a year ago, a friend of mine asked me if I'd be willing to attend her wedding as the photographer. I initially said no and I ended the response with a kind of, I'm gonna need to think about it. I had read and heard of too many unpleasant or even some horror stories that photographers go through at weddings and I just didn't want to go through that. Even though I, I was certain that this particular friend was one that would actually ensure that the entire experience would, would be a good one for me. She is, she's a really kind person. YouTube, hello, my name is Natalie. I'm an aspiring fine art photographer and part-time filmmaker. If you end up enjoying this video, whether it be the thoughts that I share, the photos that I show you, I invite you to check out more of my videos on my channel. There are plenty of videos ranging from shared thoughts like this one, photo, philosophy, concepts, tutorials, short stuff, short pieces, stuff like that. If you're into that kind of stuff, I also invite you to subscribe to be notified when I upload new videos weekly. So I eventually said yes to cut out the small details. I treated the entire communication process regarding the photography professional. When we discussed anything that was photography, it was professional and I left nothing to interpretation. Everything was written, we got everything in writing, I wrote a statement of work, we clarified what was expected from me, what was expected from the bride and groom and what was not expected from me and what was not expected from the bride and groom. For example, they wanted no posing, they wanted raw moments and memories. Now seeing as I was very nervous about this and I have two mirrorless cameras, I organized for Julia to assist me for this day. We essentially ended up sharing the Panasonic GH5 and the S5. The GH5 had the Lumix Leica 12-60 f 2.8-4 and the S5 had the 14-24mm f 2.8. Now given that the GH5 system carries the full frame equivalent of 24-120mm, to we had a wide focal range to share between the two of us. So we went to the groom's prep first and then after that to the bride. Now these were pretty intimate moments so I'll be selective of what I share here though I have been given permission to share all the photos with you lot. I, I must say that I was not prepared for how nervous and vulnerable the groom was and it did feel like a privilege to witness how caring his best men how caring they were for him and when keeping him calm. They were so very protective of him. It, it was pretty cool, not only to be a witness to that, but also to capture it. It it almost felt as though I'd been handed this precious, this precious thing to protect. One thing that I am very proud of was that the best man approached us during the party to tell us that the groom was actually really happy with how the photographing experience went. I think he may have actually been quite anxious at the idea of two photographers, two people that he actually had never met before coming to his home before the wedding but we ended up being a positive presence and it means so much that that little detail was communicated with us afterwards it kind of felt like some validation on our behavior as professionals and also non-invasive photographers this is my favorite shot from the bridal prep to me it's got a german expressionism vibe to it almost something you might find in a tim burton film or, or photo i'm not maybe tim burton stuff would be a little deep on the shadows but yeah i'm not sure if i was more nervous for the bride and groom prep photography or for the ceremony itself we were informed that the photographers would have permission to photograph from the sides but i thought we'd also have the option to shoot from either outside or inside the glass but as it turns out given the restrictions we had to shoot from outside the glass on a sunny day so with this i immediately realized that i would need to make these artsy and i must say that the technical obstacle resulted in some of the most beautiful shots from the day in my opinion it was really one of those situations where instead of trying to hide the imperfection of the shot which was the reflective glare from the glass i just i decided i was gonna full-on have to just embrace the shit out of it and make those shots just artsy i did try to do the thing where you put your jacket over the lens the lens against the glass but i also needed to be wary of being a distraction the ceremony took place in a small room so all of mine and julia's movements were noticed throughout so most of these shots had glare but they came out beautifully in my opinion and even though we were shooting this part of the of the wedding the ceremony outside it was very very quiet during the ceremony and luckily we thought to put our cameras on silent shutter for this part it is definitely a feature that i'd recommend familiarizing yourself in general 
with your cameras you never know when it will come in handy to just head it on to silent shutter it was a long day a very very long day but an overwhelmingly positive experience i couldn't have asked for two kinder people to have as my first bride and groom I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate Melanie and Rudy. And I'd also like to thank them for not restricting me on any of the photos that I can share with you. So some words for photographers that are considering doing weddings. And please do keep in mind that this is based on my one and only experience as a wedding photographer. And this one and only experience was one that involved a genuinely kind and caring couple. So this experience was one that pretty much could not have gone any better. I would have the following opinion or bits of advice or things to consider to share with you. First and foremost, this will be exhausting. Don't drink on the night before and be sure to actually drink good amounts of water the day before to help keep that spring in your step on the day. Make sure to list everything that you'll need. Do all your packing and battery charging and card formatting, all that stuff before the night before. I'd say be prepared at the very minimum by the afternoon before. Silent shutter, make sure that you know how to switch to this mode nice and quick. Don't use this as an opportunity to test new equipment. And I mean this as advice for individuals who have never shot weddings before. You, you don't want to be fidgeting through settings on a job like this. It'll just, it'll, it'll stress you out. When it's time to eat, do eat. Back up your photos at all appropriate opportunities. We backed our photos up, I believe, maybe three times or maybe even four times during that day. This is an important one and it sounds silly, but even if it's a friend, get paid. Even if it's a discounted rate, get paid. And I say this not to people that are attending weddings and happen to take their camera. I'm saying this if you have been asked to be the photographer, get paid. Write out and agree on what is expected from you and what is not expected from you. And lastly, this, this might be controversial, I don't know. I don't believe that one can attend a wedding as a guest and a professionally paid, dedicated photographer. And I mean, paid photographer as in the pressure will be on you and primarily on you to produce a full set of high quality photos of that day. I spent the entire day being worried that this would be that one time that my SD card lets me down. I have never had issues with my Sanders cards, but you never know what could happen and the stress was just, it was overwhelming and the paranoia was, was very real. So if a close friend does ask you to be their photographer and even if they offer to pay you, you, I think this is something that you do need to be aware of. Melanie, the bride, is a dear friend and I care for her deeply, but we are not in each other's close group of friends and I was asked to attend as the photographer. So this distinction was made clear for all parties involved from the very beginning. One more. And lastly, thank you, Julia, for being my assistant and for encouraging me to actually giving me the confidence to actually do this. Thank you for doing all the driving during that road trip. And very importantly, thank you for taking some beautiful shots on the day and for taking initiative during the entire day. You were a total pro and you were my rock. Will I do weddings again? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. The stress of losing photos is just overwhelming and it's just not for me. And I highly respect wedding photographers. Um, I'm somewhat interested in the idea of fine art wedding photography, but not the type that's done on a day. So not on the day on the wedding. So I might get in touch with some friends who already have gotten married and are still in possession of their like dresses and suits to organize maybe a set for fine art wedding photographer, you know, like the lights and all that. We'll see. And I think, I think that's it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the photos and my thoughts. Don't forget to keep taking photos, keep making videos. Thank you for taking the time to be here. I do appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next video.